What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Myers World and what we're going to be talking about today is a very very good budget player for like your nickel or your sub players like you want to use a corner in certain defenses that you play. Obviously for me I run sometimes a nickel double A gap and I use the nickel corner as my user. All right so in my case I'm going to give you guys some quick insight into what my team is doing. All right, after I show you what I'm doing with this, I'm going to show you what the upgrade is and who the actual player is, okay? So look, this is what happens. I put Marshawn Lattimore because of his speed at free, uh, strong, no, free safety? Yeah, free safety. Because he's one of the faster players. He doesn't play any zone at all. He's like a blind bat with no, yo, no wings, bro. The guy's useless if you put him at corner. But speed-wise, he can run after the play, he can swat the ball out, he can do a lot of different things like that that will help you not give up the deep play just straight back because he has one of the higher overall speeds, okay? As far as zone, he doesn't get, you know, he, not, he ain't really doing nothing. Now, my, my real budget player with a decent speed was Anthony Brown, okay? He was my ultimate user uh, for a while. Why is it doing that? I just want to compare. I don't want to put him in there. Like, bruh. I, I, okay, I pressed the wrong button. Whatever. All right, so yeah, they're going to let me know that I got a, a duplicate in the game. So pretty much what happens is you can see that his zone and everything is garbage. So what happens is you have to use this guy as either a blitzer or a user. All right? All of you guys that are veteran Madden players already know you don't want to bum out there playing coverage because you're going to get exploited. So you don't want to deal with that. So what I decided to do was find a better player. Now, the reason that I, you know, even looked at this, I was thinking about it like almost a couple, you know, well, a couple of weeks ago because I actually pulled him in one of my pack opening videos right here on YouTube. And I'm like, yo, why is this dude, you know, such a low overall? And he was playing pretty well last year. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they kind of didn't show him much love. And it's Denzel Ward. Okay, so what I'm gonna probably, oh, let me see what this guy's price, this price dropped a little bit, 240, bro, it was just 225. Like, all right, we just gotta wait that out. I should've took it at 225, bro. Like, you see what I'm saying, dog? Like, once you, bro, once you snooze, you lose, dog. All right, so um, Denzel Ward is what we're looking for. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get his parts. Um, for those of you guys that didn't watch the last video, we actually pulled the power up for Aaron Donald and I was considering getting him and uh, I just didn't follow through. All right, so this guy has an 82. Do I have a power pass for that, though? I might have a power pass for this guy. I don't even know. If, do hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me see something. Cause this this guy right here, I just want to make sure that I don't already have his power up. Because like I said, this guy, I, I'm not using him for any other thing other than the fact that he's going to be a user player for me. Even though when he's chemmed up, he's pretty decent. It just gives me another option. Remember. Um, Anthony Brown is also at 86 speed, so if you're blitzing him out of nickel, doing whatever, maybe you're running dollar, um, you know, dime 146. These are fast, fast corners for the game right now with 86 speed. With this guy chemmed up, he's going to actually be, um, he's going to actually go to a, what's the name, right? I think he's going to go all the way up to 87 speed. So I, I may sometimes leave him in coverage because he'll have a decent enough zone. I think he's like an 82 zone though. Um, but he's a very, very good budget card for some people that have been asking me, like, you know, what, you know, would you consider doing certain things? I, I kind of like man cover. Oh, his zone coverage is only 74. Oh, it's his man coverage. Oh, but he goes to an 87 speed, though, with 87 Excel. Okay, so this guy is garbage unless you probably man him up and he gets lucky. Uh, zone coverage is worse than the other idiots. Um, Lattimore. But you can see he's one step slower. So that's going to actually help us out a lot. Let me see. It's, and it doesn't cost that much to actually upgrade him. So let's go ahead and do that now because with these with, he's he's the kind of card that people will look at it and be like yeah the dude's garbage you know just on the surface but he's not really though all right so we don't have to buy the other card i think we got a power pass 82 to 84 is there somebody else worth more though should i spend the 20k right now i'll just remember that it's in you know it's in this guy's set and i'll take it back if i end up end up needing an 82 to 84 that's fine okay so he doesn't need a superstar x factor he doesn't need an ability we're gonna obviously he's the browns um and we're gonna leave him like that now with that being said, you see how cheap that was for me because I used the power pass? Depending on what your setup is, it may not be as cheap. You see what I'm saying? Like, you guys have to evaluate what's going on in your squad and the players that you're willing to utilize on your team. While we're here, though, let me just check out Aaron Donald. Because if his price goes back down, we're going to go ahead and snag him. And then we're going to have to get rid of uh, Miles Garrett. Even though it seems like it's rushed, we pull the power up, guy. That's, that's EA telling us, bro, it's time. 2.30, 19 hours. Nah, we'll, we'll wait. Somebody, 2.30 is the bid price. We'll wait it out a little bit because he was just at 2.25. I guess I should have just snagged him for that. But 2.40, even for what he's going to offer us, is really, really good. Just so you guys know. Um, 
it, it, it's it's going to be really, really uh, ridiculous the amount of stuff that this guy is going to actually uh, offer us in our defensive game plan. All right, so now let's go over here. We're going to take a look. So Marshawn Lattimore is actually the slot corner. And then we have Anthony Brown and we have this other bum, Maddox. But why do we... I think he was pretty fast too. That's why we kept him, right? He had an 84 speed. So obviously we're going to have to put um, Denzel Ward there. Why is he... Okay, Denzel Ward, we'll put... Yeah, we're going to put you there. Denzel Ward will be our new fourth corner, right? And like I told you, don't sleep on Anthony Brown. The, like I said, the only thing I'm going to keep telling you guys is this. You blitz him or you user him. So both of these guys will be use, you know, they'll be useful to me inside my do, uh, my dollar uh, my dollar or if I play dime 146 cuz I have them both off the edge and mo more than most of the time they'll be blitzing. I may man up Denzel Ward because he has the 81 man, but for the most part these guys are blitzers and that's pretty much it. That's where it ends. All right? That's going to be a huge thing. Now, getting back to what I was talking about with Aaron Donald, the reasoning behind why I like to take my time with this is because if I get rid of Aaron, Do uh, if I get rid of Miles Garrett, Aaron Donald more than likely is going to be a more expensive card throughout the year for all of his upgrades. And as you guys know, the limiteds are no longer able to be upgradable using training points, so they took that away. I think they said they're going to put him in packs like the next series or whatever. But you have to get the limited while it's there. There's no in between with it. So because of that, you have to understand that it's very early in the year right now. And Aaron Donald is going to go to, what, an 89 or something? I think he's going to go to an 89 overall. Let's go check his card again. That's where he's going to go with it. So that's pretty much what I've been trying to, you know, figure out. Like, yo, should I, you know, should I get this guy? What am I doing? Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait on it. I'm going to just wait and see what's good. Uh, I don't expect his price to keep going up, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really don't expect that. But again, you never know. The guy that had him up for 225, which is, you know, 25K, you know, less than that. Maybe I should have just snagged him there. But I saw him at 204 yesterday and didn't bite. And, um, you know, I'm wondering now if I should even invest in him or just, you know, just stay with Miles Garrett. I'm probably just going to stay with Miles Garrett and just make the 70K because the investment might be too great. And I think Miles Garrett is a pretty good card. That's why I'm, you know, struggling with it. For those of you guys that are wondering about it, um, you know, Aaron Donald is a dog in this game. He's a straight up dog. And I already know with this higher finesse move, maybe we'll get more out of it. So I'll probably end up getting him. But I'm going to try to save myself uh, 15 more, you know, 15 more K, 20 K, whatever. All right. So now to finalize everything that's going on and give you guys an update of what's happening, I'm thinking about actually taking off the chems off of Bo Jackson and probably just giving Marcus Allen back his evasive. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's probably going to be like that because Bo, J I don't know what it is, but this guy right here, for some reason, I, I don't know, man. I might just end up just... Hold up. I got to see... Because I actually had this card traded to me. Do we get full training points for it? Hold on. Let me see something. Let me let me, let me me see what would happen. Do I have to go all the way downgrade? I just want to see what it would be. Because if I take the card out, I should be able to see it, right? Or like how many training points and stuff it'll be. Like, no, nah, no. Nah, we're not going to do that to Bo. Bo's going to stay. But we're going to probably take off the chems off him. We'll, we'll just take the chems off. I think that's what we're going to do ultimately. But he's, like, for some reason, not been able to truck or stiff on people in every game. I don't know what he's doing, but we'll figure it out later. All right. As far as everything else, we got all the fullback action going on to make the run game pretty much unstoppable. Sherman, uh, we got Corey there, Patrick, and then we've upgraded Brian Waters and Larry Allen is one of our newer players. So we've actually been trying to develop our scheme to where it's formidable against any opponent. And to be honest with you, it's been working out for us for the most part, but I do have to consider, I really do have to consider probably going Aaron Donald. I, I may have to consider that. Um, in all honesty, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm just thinking like it may be something that is necessary to be done. We're going to have to figure that out. So I need you guys to stay tuned. Definitely go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Let me know if you have any other questions. Uh, you can leave it in the comment section. Remember to follow me, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Twitch, all at G Myers World. And we're going to try to figure this out, man, because we have to get a more dominant team. I think what are we, we're missing something defensively to get to an 88. Probably this set, this D tackle right here. Oh, maybe this guy. We might. We probably need a better middle linebacker. That could be it too. Yeah, because he's only a, he's only at 85. Maybe we get this guy up to like a 90. Uh, get a middle linebacker at, the, at that point, and then see what's good with it. We probably could get the, the team up to like an 88 overall and start moving with it. So we're gonna be working on that uh, coming very soon. I want to thank you guys again for joining me. Please don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what you think about that Aaron Donald. I really want to know. And just don't be biased, bro. Don't be a Browns fan that's like, yo, Miles Garrett. Just let me know what you think. I'm leaning towards going after 
Aaron Donald. But, you know, realistically speaking, I think Miles Garrett is just as good right now in Madden 20. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. Be safe. One love, y'all.